Workout started. Study 55 minutes at zone 4. Go. So I'm off to the mountain of joy once again. This time I'm going to do the saddle loop backwards. But uh, I have at least 10 minutes of noisy, boring streets to do before I get to the trails at Harvest Lane. So I'm going to pause at the end of my street. I'm going to pause the recording and carry on getting my breath back, getting my heart and lungs synchronized. It's going to be quite a hard workout. Depending how I'm feeling, I might go a little longer. If I uh, do the 55 minutes, then I would probably need another 20 on the indoor bike to finish off my week. So we'll see how I feel. I'm planning to end my recording at Tinkertown, maybe beyond Tinkertown. Get back to you later. So this is my first break up just after the kilometre. I've got a bit of uphill to go and my heart is just warming up so I'm going to walk it down a bit. Seven minute kilometres is quite fast enough. I think I'm planning on doing eight and a half minute kilometres by the time I'm finished. But I'm almost at Harvest Lane, two minutes into my recording. So I'll pause again until I get into the forest of fun. about to turn up and over the foot of Mount Doug, past the broken tree, I'm going to be riding the pause button and try and make it one continuous 30 minute extravaganza Here comes a red setter hello dogs following me now hello is this your dog <laughs> Hello. 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 Thanks, Jump. Go. Go, Rusty. I better go back to me. Alright, now, Rusty, you can go back. Oh. He's probably a young dog, I don't know. Put him on a leash, just in case. I just started my run. Yeah, sorry about that. It's okay. Is there an Englishman there? What? Are you an Englishman? Yeah. He's Irish. Oh, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> He's allergic to Englishmen. <laughs> okay. I was curious. But I knew that dog was a little feisty. Because when it was following me back, it was nudging me, nudging me in the butt, nudging me in the foot. So I knew it was right there. 
But I know how to behave with a dog. I start talking quietly and try and engage with the owner in a friendly voice. Anyway, yep, a friend of mine had an Irish setter, a red setter, big one. Swallowed his sock once. Needless to say, it came out the other day. I mean, the other way, I should say. Now I'm going up Glendenning. This is what I often refer to as the glory zone. It's not so glorious going this way. I'm going to have to hike in a little while. Yeah, I'll walk early and often, which is the advice I always give. Hello. Hi, dogs. Hi. Yeah, it's the morning of the daylight savings. So everything's a little bit weird. But not too much now. We're a couple of days and a couple of hours into daylight now. Yep. I was up before the uh, daylight started, but it was definitely after 2 a.m. because my phone. Yeah, pretty darn slow. I know. I'm saving my voice. I'm saving air for my voice as I climb. I'll be listening out now for the, basically just the heart rate. I don't want it to go below 120. I don't want it to go above 150. It's basically where I'm at now. It really is quite beautiful here. I think I'll take a photograph. I don't have my gloves today. So it's gone from, what was it now, sub 7, 659 it was at one time, but uh, now it's at 840 plus. Now I have to remember what route I'm doing because there are at least... I would say six different ways that I normally turn from here. So I'll continue the hike upwards. I'm probably going to put some music into this one, probably with GarageBand, but I might listen to a little bit of a tune now as I establish my breathing for the next push up the hill. Hopefully it won't be copyright protected. So, the band, the superhighway crossroads here, and it goes up past Jackie's dad's tree. She gets up here with crutches, she only has one leg. Pretty amazing. Time for another photograph. Time for a minute. Distance 2.8 kilometers. Cadence 53. 
18 kilometers. Cadence 57. Average heart rate 135. Workout average pace 9 minutes 5 seconds per kilometer. Time for hydration. Auto pause. Workout resume. So I took a couple of pictures of Jackie's tree. And I'm still climbing like an SOB, as they say. Look, we're taking a slightly harder route today. We're going to be crossing Harrop in a second. Hi there. Now I get my swoopy, swoopy downhills. Hello. Hello. Three runners. Thank you. Three young chaps, student types. Yep. They're chasing a dog. Still more climbing as I pass the cave. Took a few more photographs for you, for your enjoyment, just as I reach the saddle. Now it's going to be down, down, down on the other side. And I'll keep an eye on the record length because I've got a new windsock that I tried out yesterday with Rob and it turned out to be excellent. So I'm happy you won't hear any more arm swing noises of the wind. I guess I should start running again as I pass. Yeah, my, my average heart rate is still up in zone three, that's for sure. So I won't play any more music on my phone now. That was just a little bit of a climb section that I wanted to get behind me. I was saving air for my effort. One more photograph of the saddle itself. The two big stones on either side of the gap. Let me get the camera out quickly. I had to change the uh, what's it called? The time on the on the camera to correspond to new time. Point fifty eight kilometers. Cadence fifty two. Average heart rate one hundred thirty eight. Workout average pace nine minutes thirty eight seconds per kilometer. Yeah. 
So far I have 15 minutes recorded, so we're doing good. As they say, you can enjoy hearing my pace improve. Hopefully I don't trip. I've got my good shoes on today, but that didn't stop me from tripping the day I broke my hand. It's still not right, but who cares? I don't do many push-ups. I don't really need strong hands for anything. So now I get to quite an important junction, which hopefully, yep, I'll take the right one. Whitaker, it says now. I'm so familiar with this route the other way that maybe twice a year I do it this way. And it feels like a completely different world. The light is in my face now. The light. The light of the morning sky to the west is in my face right now. But I'm looking down because there are two things I'm looking for, rocks and my turn-off to the left. I don't want to miss that. But I am quite excited today. My health is relatively great, if you can say that. I just wish I could have my coronavirus shots sooner rather than later. They started doing the 85-year-olds and 65-year-olds of uh, the First Nations. But I'm pretty sure I'll be in the next wave after the 65-year-old natives and the 85-year-old veterans can have their jabs. I think most long-term care customers and staff should have been vaccinated by now. One would hope so. All right, halfway to my goal. That's just about what I would have guessed. And I have 17 minutes recorded. That's great. Uh, I already have a bit of an idea of the name of this episode. I didn't really want to call it Saddle Loop in Reverse, because I've done that. I didn't want to call it... I didn't want to call it the Saddle Loop number X, Y, or Z, so I just settled for a generic zone where I might finish this recording. And today would be Tinkertown or beyond. Not quite sure yet. I have to concentrate now because my turn off is very soon. Yep. I see another runner coming towards me with a dog. Hello. Uh, come by, dog. You're welcome. Off you go, doggy. Have a good run. Thanks. Yep. That's how you talk to a dog. All right. I think this is where I turn down. Uh... It's further still. I have to pass the elephant rock. That's right. More climbing again. I'm glad there's a almost a two mile runoff on this one. So uh, I get an easy two mile out of a, let's say a five mile run. 
So this is the 3K of tough. Most of it's slow climbing. All right, so this is the Elephant Rock. Looking back from the head to the tail. Yep, I was saying I had to change my time on my camera so that it would agree with the internet time of my phone. So now I have some puddles to negotiate. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind as long as I'm not holding my camera. I put that away. Ah, here is my trail. Easy to miss. I often run right past it. The other way just adds another 2k to my run, which today wouldn't have been a bad idea. Alright, now I've joined the main Norn Trail on this side of the mountain. This will take me down to the fake bridges, hopefully. Maybe I've taken the wide loop again, the wide option. Either way, I'm in for the challenge. I'm up for the game. Yep, I think this is going to be another one of those slightly extended runs, but basically no change on the um, length of the show. I've already blocked it out. 36 minutes it will be. That's why I want it to be easy, that I can just look at my device and know exactly where I'm at. Other than pausing, I've left it as one continuous. I think what it is, it's doing it in this direction. It doesn't look familiar, so the, the turns aren't immediately identified. I think I'm going to miss the fake bridges today. Oh, this is glorious here. Let me take another photograph. 23 minutes recorded. There will be music by now coming around. And about you. Auto pause. Workout resume. Yep. It's very important that my camera is synchronized with my phone so that when I share the photographs, they'll be time stamped and they will appear exactly where in my workout I took them. Because I took quite a lot of trouble to get the timing almost to like four seconds. So even with the downhill, I'm still pumping away a lot of oxygenated blood. It's going through my brain. Hopefully that'll keep me sane for the rest of this run. Down some more. This is a little nicer. I remember that this is going to send me into the shore again. I did that a couple of weeks ago with you. It's like Groundhog Day every day for me. I've almost certainly done this run and recorded more than once. I had another turn. This I now recognize.
No, I didn't think it would get that slow, but you take what you take. You take what you put in. You take it out. This is almost the perfect temperature now for running. I've got a little bit of the bead of sweat on my brow, but uh, I still have two layers of short sleeve cotton and uh, long sleeve cotton sweater. Now, this is muddy here. I was trying to avoid the mud today, but can't be helped. This is beside the barbed wire fence, so I have to be careful with my footing. I've listened to a couple of shows today already. One of Jim's annual, annual update on daylight savings. This time he did it as a four minute public service announcement. Very useful advice. I do the same. First thing I do is change the clocks. Like when you take an international flight, the minute you leave the air, the ground, I should say. The minute you're in the air, you should ch change your clock, your watch, to uh, the time that you're going to arrive, their time zone, so that by the time you look at your watch after a 12-hour flight, you're not discombobulated, the numbers will be true. You won't have to calculate what that time is. That'll be right there on your watch first, probably. And then, once you connect your devices to the internet, that'll all be updated. Plus, he had another show. I think he was with Reagan. He didn't mention Reagan. But there you go. He was talking about various interesting things. So, this pace I'm managing to maintain at least a 115 heart rate for however long I'm out for, which corresponds almost exactly to uh, my heart rate on the indoor bike. That's why I never mind making up any minutes on the bike, but by mistake or maybe on purpose by mistake I took a wrong turn to extend my run. So I don't have to really think of after uploading the show to do another 28 minutes or something like that on the bike because that's when I like to luxuriate and have my beer. I might get you to Tinkertown by the time I have to shut this down. Mind you, I could always shut it down for a few minutes now and add it at the end. Why don't I do that? Just let me get through this muddy spot. And I'll get back to you when I'm a few minutes further down the line at 29.40. So finally, finally I'm out of the woods, out of the muddy puddles. Took a few more pictures while you were away. And uh, you'll see them. I guarantee you'll see them somewhere. So now I head you off towards... What's it called now? Tinkertown. That's right. I'm at the resort now. The Sea View Spa and Inn, I think it's called now. It's 
one of those businesses that changes name a little bit every ten years. You'll hear some traffic on my left pretty soon as I head, head down towards the main parking lot at uh, Mount Douglas. I have to cross the road, in fact, to get onto the Tinkertown side of the road. But I will end with a photograph at Tinkertown. I'm up to 31 minutes now, so five minutes should be perfect. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying mastering their business. Hello. Come on by. Yeah, not much room here. I had to hide under a tree. That's what I'm saying. We've all learned how to steer clear of each other. Don't think it's a bad thing. In general, there are a lot of airborne diseases, most of them not quite as bad as COVID-19. High point. High point at 32, so four more minutes should get me to Tinkertown. And then I have to keep going. This is a nice, as I say, swoopy downhill trail with no roots, no rocks, just packed gravel. Hello. Hi. Hi. You doing well? Yep. Hello. That's another common uh, concern nowadays. When you meet people, you ask them how they're doing. Especially if they're crazy looking, sweaty guys with beards. So, three minutes to go, and I'll be at Tinkertown. Just as I cross the street. Carlos! Hello! Somebody knows me. I didn't recognize him in his riding gear. That's the thing the helmets, the sunglasses, the face coverings, I don't know. The colors of the jerseys. So now this is Norma's favorite section. When we run this together, she always starts smiling. Because it's a nice, straight downhill. After all that climbing. I think this one is 165 meters of elevation gain and loss as I approach Tinker Town. I have about a minute more to record. Hello. So I'm here at 20, almost 25 minutes of actual recording. I can take a couple of photographs of Tinker Town and then.
Yeah, I took some pictures of the setup inside Tinkertown, which was done by the kids. Probably the counselors helped a little bit as I put the camera away for the last time. I will say goodbye to you from the sunny side of Mount Douglas, having passed Tinkertown, the adventure playground for the outdoor children. I will say bye-bye to you.